Hi, I'm Styx, and I'm back with another Battlefield 3 game. This time it's on Sen Crossing. Um, it's a rush game mode, and we're attacking. This is a very, very intense game. Um, both sides seem to be quite equally, um, quite equally balanced. Not at the beginning, so you'll see us take the first couple of points really easily. But as you get onto the second set and the third set, the, the teams really become more balanced. I'm, I'm not sure why that would be if um, more people joined or whatever. But it makes for some very interesting gameplay. Um, so at the, at the beginning here, someone's um, rushed A, or they go into it in a second, and, and we rush B, and we, we manage to get it very easily. And you'll see, um, and you'll see that in a second. So there, there's A gone there, and we're just running away from that grenade, and we're going to go and take B very easily. So I don't know where the enemy were. Maybe, um, maybe a few of them hadn't loaded. I get that a, a bit of the time you, you don't load, and you, when when you actually start the game. Um, the attacking team has already already armed the MCOM already, um, but there aren't many enemy. But uh, what I'm doing here is a little bit of camping, but I like to think of it as defending the point. So what you'll see here when when the MCOM is um, is armed and, it, and it's it's ready to blow, you'll see the position that I take is is watching the this archway right in front. That I'm pointing at now. I'll I'll be pointing at that because that is my first. Um, the first point where enemies could come where I'm most in danger. So if enemies come down that archway, they'll be looking straight at me. So I want to take them out first. And then the second sort of uh, priority is this archway that I'm looking at now because people wouldn't be looking at me directly and it was also covered by other people. So when you're... I hesitate to call it camping, but when you're defending like that, you have to think of your priorities. Where will, pe where will the enemies be coming and where will they be able to see me first of all? And that's where you want to cover. Um, your first priority. So you can see we took the first two really quickly. It's only a, like uh, what two minutes into the game, and we've already taken them. So I decided to follow my squad mate. He seemed to be doing pretty well, and so he rushed B. So I decided to hang back a little bit uh, whilst he's arming B. I'll I'll try and defend a little bit. So I see a guy across here. I keep my eye on. Uh, there's probably other guys the other side of the river, as there always are in this, looking down at B. So I thought I'd try and try and help him out a bit by by defending. And so he's on B, and I protect it, and unfortunately get a little bit of sniping in the head. But that's okay, it's okay. So we got B, um, I, I skip forward a little bit, so, uh, so B's gone, um, we're still getting A on this. And what's about to come up is pretty uh, pretty cool. It's, it's one of those moments in Battlefield 3 where you just it doesn't happen that often. Not, not this part here, you'll see in a second. It doesn't happen that often, but when it does, you're just... It's, it's absolutely amazing that it actually happens. So we're behind enemy lines at the moment. We're getting on A. You can see there's a little bit of a battle going up here. On my mini map, I can see there's about five or six guys here. So it's time for some back rage. Back rage. Back rage. Um, and so that, so that was four guys and. Uh, Unfortunately, the fifth guy got me. It's a bit of a shame, but uh, oh well. Four guys is good enough. So, uh, so we got both the MCOMs. We moved on to watch this. The third set of MCOMs. Um, thanks to the guy again here. I think it's the same. Yeah, it's the same guy that I was following earlier. So, uh, thought I'd give him a little bit, a little bit of a thanks there in the uh, in the squad chat. So we're moving up. Um, the first part of the game that you've just seen, I, I was doing really well. I I had a huge uh, kill death ratio, and I was getting a bit cocky, I think. And this always happens: is if you start off really good in the game, you tend to get a little bit of a little bit cocky, a little bit uh, so sure of yourself. So you're running into places now. So I, I'm taking a little bit relaxed here. So I, I'm I'm holding back. I'm I'm looking around the point. But then for some stupid reason, I decide, oh, I'm going to rush the point. So I run over here and not checking anywhere and. Lo and behold, I get hit from what three or four different directions, and that was my fault. I I just ran into a into the crowd into the um into the middle of that square, not not heeding where any of the enemy were, and it's just I don't know. It must be just excitement, I suppose. Um, I'm doing so well on this. I I kind of under um underestimate what the enemy can do. Um, this guy takes an entire clip and five magnum bullets to put down, but uh, got him in the end. But yeah, um, it, I guess it's just excitement. Um, you're doing so well that you just want to continue, and you want to do really, uh, you want to do it as fast as possible, and, and show off your elite skills or whatever. Um, and you end up making a massive mistake like I just did then. And I think, 
in this video I think I may make another mistake this might be one coming up here so it was it, it was a peak but it was way too fast of a peak the, uh, yeah so we've skipped a hop forward again we've all got we've got the a point and we're working towards the B point you see how many friendly and friendly guys there are here um, and we're facing a whole bunch of enemy team at the end of this tunnel here I really hate this tunnel um, but I managed to take a few of them out I know there's some guys standing behind the bus there and he becomes a real pain um, but I think I managed to get four or five kills but the thing thing I want to say here is we're the attacking team we do not want to be doing this we are bleeding tickets the whole time this is happening every time you miss a res um, or every time someone falls down in the tunnel when we can't get to them we are bleeding tickets we don't want to be in this standoff situation you need to find a different route so if you're playing on a team maybe um, a couple of guys stand here uh, stand at the tunnel there to um, to kind of occupy the enemy just to, th to make them think you're still there whilst other guys come around the back where I am now uh, come around the other way um, just to try and get around the back of them you do not want to be standing off as an, attack as an attacking team as a defending team it's amazing you want to be camping you want to be uh, defending those points but really do not want to be doing that as an attacking team you will bleed tickets so this is um, uh, I think yeah so this, I come up to a bit here when, and it's uh, getting back to the excitement point again so I, I come over here I was like we've got 10 tickets left it's dropping rapidly um, we were doing really well so I don't want to lose at this point, I've only got one set of MCOMs to go. So I think, bugger it, I'm going to rush this MCOM. Really, really bad idea. Um, I got quite close, you see there's a guy there that also rushed at the same time as me, he actually managed to arm the MCOM and to, and to get the MCOM that time. So we've moved on to the last two, uh, two points, uh, two MCOMs in this game. Um, really, really close so far, we managed to get the first couple but uh, it's getting harder and harder as we go along. So I know there's a couple of guys down here, I saw them. I, I, I went past the out of bounds, I thought, oh, that didn't get too dark, you know. I know there's other guys down there, I'm going to have a look at Oh, I can't see anything. There could be a whole army of enemy down there. Do not go in the out of bounds zone, it's way too dark for you to be able to see anything. So this is a little bit later on, uh, we've managed to get the uh, MCOM outside, which is not usually too hard, but the MCOM inside, B, is really hard usually. Um, I think we actually do a pretty decent job of it, to be honest. Um, so our squad is kind of push up this way. Um, I, I kind of protect this doorway to make sure no one back rages us and then get one or two people. Um, and then we make a successful um, rush on the MCOM and win, which is unusual. In this kind of game, when it's kind of, uh, when it's very equal, you usually can't rush this last MCOM. I'm trying to throw a grenade here. My guy just keeps on putting his hand down to grab it. But doesn't doesn't seem to be able to get hold of it for some reason. And so I end on a, what a two two or three kill streak, I think, and uh, and that's the end of the game. I can't remember the score. I think it was uh, thirty-one fifteen, something like that. But it was a very very good game, very intense, and I love it when um, when it's like that. When when you have these games, you only get these these games occasionally when the teams that are equally balanced enough to make it a good game. Um, it's just it's just what Battlefield 3 is all about. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, please uh, leave any comments. Um, thanks.